All right, YouTube, tipped off to following the money uh, within the Hillary Rodham Clinton campaign. Uh, it looks like John Podesta, and the, this was on Gateway Pundit, it's on Western Journalism and a few other sites, may or may not hit the legacy media. They may or may not bother to report on it. I think this is pretty significant myself. It looks like John Podesta, who of course is the manager of Clinton's campaign, believed that the former head of the Clinton Foundation might actually be the one giving material to WikiLeaks. That is to say, uh, according to John Podesta in 2015, information that was potentially compromised had not been taken by the Russians. I think it's important to remember, not once in all of the WikiLeaks material. These emails are not altered. These emails are not falsified. They've been proclaimed as such by Hillary now in two different campaigns where they've confirmed that the material is real by referring to it not as uh, potential sources of libel, but rather uh, as being stolen material. They are real. John Podesta, in this particular email, uh, and I, d I decided to go right to the source and make sure it said what the, the journalists at uh, Gateway Pundit were saying, because I know they have a tendency to sensationalize a little bit, but it's pretty cut and dry. John Podesta is saying, oh, uh, Eric Braverman, and then uh, uh, this other individual, I think someone at M NBC, if I remember correctly, have to go back and read the email, but some, whoever he was talking to at the time, uh, was like, holy Moses! In other words, the former head of the Clinton Foundation might have given over <laughs> all of this damaging intel to WikiLeaks. That sort of blows the uh, Russian conspiracy line out of the water. Of course, they're saying, oh, now he's uh, trying to get granted asylum in Russia. I haven't seen any specific proof that he has. I haven't seen any specific proof that Eric Braverman is actually fleeing to Russia for asylum. Uh, that looks like the clickbait part of the headline to me from these sites, which copy one another uh, on the fringes of underground journalism, I suppose you could say. It'd be like an Infowars story. Yeah, there's truth to it, but, you know, it's been sensationalized and, and hyped into all oblivion, so you have to sort of dig through the poop to find the diamond or something like that. This is what happens even within the legacy media, of course. It's like when the uh, Democratic partisans that have been bought off by Hillary, and they have a story that's... Uh, that's uh, critical of politics in general as they're currently being practiced. Usually you have to dig through it to find where they're specifically talking about Hillary Clinton doing something wrong. 99% of it's all, oh, Trump did this, Trump did that, Trump's a bigot, he's filled with hate or something. But it looks like John Podesta, who I assume would probably know uh, what was going on, campaign manager, again, close confidant of Hillary Clinton, and the source of all of these email leaks. Looks like he didn't consider it to be the Russians, he considered it to be the former head of the Clinton Foundation. Maybe uh, maybe the Clinton campaign is extremely worried at the moment that he's going to tell all, come out and make a, a tweet linked to some files, oh yeah, yeah Hillary's really a, a total shitfuck or something like that, maybe that's why she's off the campaign trail uh, going down ballot or something. We have no way of knowing. Uh, as far as being a scandal, though, it's not really a scandal in so far as doing something wrong as it shows uh, Podesta, at the very least, who's basically second in command to Hillary herself as far as the campaign is concerned. He's the general manager of the entire campaign. Uh, it, back in 2015, was already saying uh, that as far as this sort of uh, dark trail of info is going, it's Eric Braverman. has nothing to do with the Russians. Well, I thought they said that the Russians stole it. Now Podesta, in his own words, is saying maybe this material was actually taken by uh, somebody who was a higher up at the Clinton Foundation in charge of that instead. And they were mentioning uh, Doug Band, who I don't know who that is, honestly. Uh, the other person in this conversation mentioned them. Oh, keep an, we need to keep an eye on Doug Band. And then uh, Podesta, all he fires back is Eric Braverman. And then Holy Moses is the reply. In other words, <laughs> looks like they know the actual source of this material, and it isn't Russia. So they're lying through their teeth, apparently, when they tell the American people that the Russians had any involvement. Again, uh, because that would do so much damage to their story so far for the last couple of months, don't expect the legacy media to talk about it. I wouldn't even expect Fox to report on it, honestly. That's about all. Peace out.